Now, in the last movie, we saw how the object selection tool works when things go as we would like. But there will be times when we don't always achieve perfection on the first try. Now, here's how to refine your selection and how to modify the tool for improving your results. Now, let's take a look at this image of Shauna on the left and River on the right, shot in Reutlingen, Germany. And uh, on first glance, you would think this is going to be an easy one to do because of the nice, solid background. But let's take a look at what you might encounter when trying to uh, do a selection on this kind of image. All right, so we've got the object selection tool up here selected, and we have this object subtract chosen. And we'll get into that in just a minute. But right now, let's go ahead and redraw it. I didn't mean to do that right then. So we're going to just go like this. And when doing it this way in some of the images off the canvas, just take the cursor and go outside the canvas and draw along. And you'll get a nice, perfect straight line on the very bottom border of the image. So we come up connect the dots, let go, and we'll see what happens. And this is pretty good on the outside, but now we have this image right here, and then we have this little area right here that was obviously a mistake in luminosity that the program made a mistake on, and we're gonna correct both of these right now. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This will be the easier one. And when we look up here, we have object subtract selected. Now, here's how that works. We've got the object selection tool chosen and we'll come down here and I'm going to push shift to add to the selection or option to subtract from the selection. Now, since the selection is everything within the marching ants, what I'm going to do is get rid of this little area right here. So I'm going to hit option, which is to subtract and then just make a selection around this area and we'll see what the result is. Now it's very, very good, but it's not perfect. We've got this little area down here and this little area up here. And of course, as we mentioned before, this area up here to correct. So let's look at how we're going to do that. First thing I'm going to do though is go to 100% magnification on this image. And we will then come up and choose the rectangle. Now the rectangle seems to work better when making these corrections. So let's see how this is going to work. Now, what we want to do is add to the selection at this point. So I'm going to hit shift, which gives us the little plus sign in the lower right hand corner of the icon. Hold it down, drag it across just in the areas that we need to correct. And we let go. And we pretty much corrected that. I'm not going to worry about this little area right there. All right, so let's move. Uh, where were we? Down here. I'm going to hit shift, which is add to the selection. And just go like that. And we get a correction. See how easy that is? And then we come up here to this area. It looks pretty big, and it is. But I'm going to hit shift. And then I'm going to come down. And we're going to go just like this. And we're going to see what happens. You never know how it's going to react, but you do take your best shot. And very easily, we were able to correct where the object selection tool didn't do everything perfectly the first time. Let's look at this area right here uh, along the edge of the shoulder. And I'm just going to do a... F oh, man, I didn't want to do that. Okay, well, let's... I don't want to move the selection. I want a lasso. And I'm going to start outside. That's what I did wrong. Start outside the selection. Hold down the shift key. And then just come in. And then go back up. And let's see what happens. Everything is an experiment with this. And that repaired the image or the selection really, really well. Now let's get really nitpick and get in to this little area right here. And I'm going to subtract this time. So I'm going to start... Here, come in, see if we can refine that. I haven't even practiced it, but I saw it, and let's just see what happens. Nope. All right, let's try it one more time. That's a little better. And we can come around here and add to the selection ever so slightly. Get a little more of this hair in there just to see what happens. There you go, that's an improvement. See what uh, is going on with Shauna. 
we need to correct this little area right here. So we're going to add to the selection. So we hit the shift key, left click, and then draw this little area right there. Let's just see if we can repair it. And that's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. And I think now that we're zoomed in on her right shoulder, I'm going to hold this down, come up just like this. Eh. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's do a subtract. I think that was my mistake. There we go. That's perfect. Now we have a great selection, and uh, that's how to do. Oh, we forgot this little area right down here, but it's basically the same thing. So we're going to subtract from the selection. So I'm going to hit the Option key, come down. And let's try refining it. Yeah, it's not perfect. Sometimes you have to. There you go. That's about as good as it's going to get. And let's refine this little area right here. And what am I going to do? I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to hold down the Option key, come down like this, come up, cross. Yep, hold down the plus key. Oh, it's not gonna it's not gonna do what I want it to do. So let's maybe make the selection a little bit bigger. See if we can there you go. Give the program something to chew on. So I think that's a selection that's going to be just about as good as it's going to get. And you could have spent easily a half an hour refining the selection uh, on this particular image with the old way of doing selections in Photoshop. But now with Photoshop 2020, look how easy and accurate it is.